a very good morning dear children our first topic for today is square roots you have uh, done that what are square numbers and we have learned the properties of square numbers also in this video we will understand that what are square roots and how to find the square roots now if a square is equal to b then what will be the value of a right we'll answer this question after looking some examples uh i'm taking example of 2 square now 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 5 square is 25 Seven square is forty nine. We all have done the, these square numbers. Now, if two square is four, then what will be the value of two from this? If two square is four, then two can be written as square root of four. So this is the symbol of square root, right? And it is the inverse operation of square. it inverse or you can say the opposite operation of square it is just the opposite of square so if 3 square is 9 3 can be written as square root of 9 5 can be written as square root of 25 and 7 can be written as square root of 49 so we can say that this is the symbol of square root and it is the inverse operation of square it is inverse operation now coming to this uh, question if a square is b then what will be the value of a it will be square root of b right i hope the square root is clear that what is square root of a number now in this chapter we will discuss uh, three methods of finding square roots of the number the first method is finding square root by repeated subtraction so in this video we'll discuss this method finding square root by the method of repeated subtraction right i'm taking up example of 81 Now suppose I have to find square root of eighty one. Now we know that a square, every square number, can be expressed as sum of successive odd natural numbers starting from one. We have done this in the previous exercise, uh, so we will be using that concept here. What we will do, as the name says, repeated subtraction. we will keep on subtracting the numbers we'll start subtracting numbers starting from the first odd natural number that is 1 and we will keep subtracting at every step we will subtract the next odd natural number 77 77 minus 5 72 72 minus 7 is 65 65 minus 9 is 56 56 minus 11 is 45 45 minus 13 is 32 32 minus 15 is 17 17 minus 17 is 0 at some point you will get zero you will definitely get zero because it is a square number if it is a square it is a perfect square number you will uh, get zero at some point so you keep on subtracting the odd uh, natural uh, numbers one by one one starting from one then three then five and so on until you get zero at the stage now when you get zero you will stop there and then you will see how many steps uh, it involved So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine steps are involved. So that means square root of eighty-one is nine. Right? Nine steps are involved. So 
9 uh, at 9th step we get 0 so therefore square root of 81 will be 9 but this method is useful only for small numbers we cannot use uh, this method suppose we have to find square root of 6400 it is such a big number so if you will do it by this uh, repeated subtraction method it will take a lot lot of time so this method is useful only when the numbers are smaller we'll take up one more example say i'm taking i have to find square root of 121 right so and uh, I ha i'm using this method of repeated subtraction so i'll start from subtracting 1 120 minus 3 gives 117 117 minus 5 gives 112 112 minus 7 and just see at every step i am subtracting the next odd natural number 105 minus 9 is 96 96 minus 11 is 85 85 minus 13 is 72 72 minus 15 is 57 57 minus 17 is 40 40 minus 19 is 21 continue till you get zero if it is a perfect square you will definitely get zero at some point after that you just count the number of steps 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 steps therefore square root of 121 is 11 this is the method of repeated subtraction but only useful for smaller numbers i hope this concept is clear to all of you